What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. I know. I know. Brad making a video? I know. <laughs> we're okay, so initially we're just gonna talk about what I think's coming out tomorrow. What's getting revealed in just about six hours. Give or take, maybe seven, depending on where you're at. Maybe I don't know, four, depending on where you're at, but um we're gonna talk about that, what I think it is, everything, and then the last half of the video, the last like third of the video, is gonna be I'm just discussing the channel. So if you want to stick around for that, you're more than welcome to. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like down below. If you actually enjoy the content, you'd be surprised how much likes matter. It really does. So if you get a second, just click that little like. It's free. It helps me out a lot. So let's get on. Let's talk about it. Tomorrow there is reveals and stuff. I believe it has a different name. I'm gonna call it reveals and stuff though, just because. Um, and this was the initial picture that was put up on the DB Legends page, right? And the little secret thing is this right here, DBL dash, which a lot of people took into account that would be, okay, it'd be DBL dash EVT, which would be event. So it was like, oh, okay, cool, free GT unit, which we definitely, I would almost guarantee we'll get a free unit as well. Um, but that's the first one right there. And then they went to this and it was like, oh, okay, Vegeta. So that could mean a possible Zenkai for him. Could mean a new Vegeta. Could mean LF Vegeta. Whatever else. Down. Um, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, 34, which would be just the 34 set of characters. So a lot of people look at it, which it is a bit of a puzzling thing. If you watch the podcast at all over on Twitch, um, on Five Nine Gaming, where you even brought up the point that the 34th episode of GT was when I believe Goku goes Golden Grade Ape at the end. So it, it, it revolves essentially around Super Saiyan 4, right? That's episode 34 of GT, um, which is kind of interesting, but I don't think it really plays a factor into it, personally. It's just the 34, the 34th set of characters, essentially. That's what it always is. So if you look like Goku Black, he has 33. And like Yellow Gohan, he has 32, right? So on and so forth. Um, actually, Goku Black might have 32. And then Gohan might have uh, 31, and then Kid Buu be 30. No, Kid Buu be 31. I don't know. You get it. It's just a set of characters. The 34th month that the game has been out, which is absolutely insane that we're almost at 36 months, which is three years. Nuts. Um, so there's that one. The issue causing that, great. <laughs> I actually am glad that was resolved. I lost my mind in PvP. If you guys are playing the meta right now, uh, before yesterday, like 24 hours ago, maybe 30 hours ago at this point, it was horrible a lot of times. So I'm glad they resolved that. But tune in tomorrow for a new episode of Video and Stuff and find out the answer. In the meantime, let us know what you think is coming. So, I'm not going to click the uh, the replies. If you've been in the Legends community for a little while, the replies are a lot of fun to look through and all, but not on camera, so we don't do that. Uh, the idea now that everybody is thinking is going to be a LF, Super Saiyan 4 Goku with Dragon Fist. Maybe transforming from Kid, which would be dope. 100% down for it. I don't know how much I'd go in. Right now I got like, what, like I think I have like 5k. I'll have like 6 to 6.5k um, after PvP reset. Because I'm, I'm going for I tried to get the top 3k. I got to like top like 4,200. And then I stopped playing for like 8 hours. And I logged back in and I was like top like 7,800. And I was like, I can't keep up with this. Like, my god, the amount of grinding required because it's a double RP season. It's like, I don't... Top 3k because you get uh, Ultra Goku, Z Power. It's fine. I'll just take my time. I ain't too, He's good at 3 stars. <laughs> I don't mind. Different topic for a different day. Um, so, people are thinking that it's going to be that. Uh, there's also people who are like, it's got to be Gogeta. I, it's not going to be Gogeta. I, if it is, I'm down. I'm here for it. But I would almost 100% guarantee that that's an anniversary type unit. That's not a bait character before the anniversary. Uh, that's that's a big bait character. I mean, you think about the first anniversary, we got Super Vegito, right, the purple one. Uh, and Goten <laughs> came before him. So, if we're saying Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's coming out, what the hell tops that massively? Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, which we will not see. Uh, <clears throat> well, we might eventually, but not right now. Probably not, though. Heroes characters are tough. Uh, I think the most likely thing is a Dragon Fist Kid Goku, and then either a Zenkai for that red uh, Vegeta, which would be Red GT. So, if this guy comes out to be... Uh, red, which isn't bad. It's not great either. He has a red Saiyan. We have a few red Saiyans. He has a red Sun family. That's good. So you could you could triple Zenkai him at this point, which is cool, you know. 
because uh, you would also have red fusions with Gogeta. So you could triple Zenkai on top of like his own natural stats. That'd be cool. You know, I wouldn't mind that too. No, you wouldn't. Red Gogeta would be fusions. That'd be if it was Gogeta. Just kidding. Ignore that. You can double Zenkai, which is essentially good enough. Um, I don't know. That's my best speculation. I'll, I'll rock with the LF SSJ4 Goku. And then the Zenkai for the red Vegeta. Because it kind of just works a little too well. Vegeta family does need a nice solid red. They get that. GT needs everything under the sun. <laughs> they just got uh, 17. Which he would then cover Vegeta super nicely. If that makes sense there. And we need another red LF. So everything kind of adds up to being a red Goku uh, LF. If, again, if it's Gogeta, I'm 100% here for it. I won't even complain. Now, what do I want? Now, I don't, without being greedy, because there's a lot of things I want. I want 10,000 CC put in my box tonight. Um, <laughs> but aside from that, I guess I would take... I really want Ice and Nova, even if they're just EXs. I really want that. I just don't want to hunt an EX. That's the biggest issue when I say that. I would love, I mean, I would absolutely love a free-to-play event where you get the five Shadow Dragons or however many there are, I don't remember. Um, I guess it would be five. Six? I know Ice and Nova and then Oceanus. <laughs> I don't remember the other ones too much. Uh, hey Shenron, I know him, but I don't know what he looks like. The Mole, he's my favorite uh, of the Shenrons. Be cool if you got that as like an extreme Ginyu type event, you know, where all the Ginyu Force came out, you grind them up, and then they got put on banners later on. That'd be dope. I would totally be cool with that. There is a Shadow Dragons buffer in the game, so we know it'll eventually happen. The Extreme Blue Sin Shinron? He's not Omega, yeah. Extreme Blue Sin Shinron that came out during the anniversary last year. He does buff Shadow Dragons, specifically Strike Attack. So we know it'll happen eventually. It'd be really cool if they did it free. I'd be 100% here for it. I'd have no problem with it. We see how free events are nowadays, and I don't know how I'd feel about grinding, like, multiple characters, because one drains, like, 2,000 energy, so that's a whole different topic for a different day. They'd have to really work it out properly. Like, it couldn't be, like, how you do Extreme Quillen or something, because that's absurd, right? Like, five of them, let me just spend 10,000 energy real quick and 5,000 skip tickets to get this done. Probably not going to be doing that. <laughs> I would probably just do Ice and Nova. Uh, it'd be cool to get a duo unit that's free for Ice to Nova. I'd love that. But, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say almost optimally, like, what sells in GT? I mean, real as they do, Ice to Nova sell. No, they don't. That's the answer. Goku and Vegeta sell. And Gogeta, of course. But again, I think it's too early for a Gogeta. But this does set up nicely for the anniversary, then. At that point. So, yeah, I'll rock out with the idea that it's LF Super Saiyan 4, uh, Dragon Fist. Which is dope. I'm, I'm here for it. I want to see the Dragon Fist in the game besides this kid Goku. He has Dragon Fist. Yeah, he totally does. He has, like, cool animations, actually. This kid Goku's actually a dope unit. He's just kind of outdated. He could totally get a Zenkai as well and be Red GT. I don't fully see that, you know, unless we got, like, a new Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But again, who sells? Kid Goku or uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? It's a pretty easy answer. I would say Kid Goku. No. <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta easily sells. So, that's pretty much my idea on that. We're going to see you tomorrow morning. I'll make a video on whatever happens with it. Uh, yeah, that's about wrapping that one up. If you want to know more about what's up with the channel, stick around for a couple more minutes. It's not going to be a super long talk. But if you want to keep up to date with what's going on with me, with the channel, yada, 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 stick around. So essentially, what's been happening? Now, it's super easy to say, um, I wasn't enjoying making Legends content, but that's not true, right? I do like Legends. Legends is the game I built this channel off of, and it's Dragon Ball, so I still like it. A lot of things push back, you know, so like I focused, uh, this is all off the top of my head by the way, no, this is like scripted, so if I make a couple mistakes and I say uh a lot, I apologize, but uh, basically, about last year, a couple months before the anniversary, a green Gogeta sticks out in my brain around this time, I just kind of got deflated, and it wasn't about Legends, it was just about keeping that motivation going and being like, what am I doing it for? You know, and I, I understand the point that people look at the views and like, well, Brad, you were still getting like 500,000 views a month. And I know that seems really good, but on a long term, how much money it was costing, which is not ridiculous, right? I was still going positive, probably a good, co co blah, blah, good couple times over. Um, so I'm not too worried about that, but it was a matter of 
what's the point of this? You know, you look at all these other channels, and I don't compare myself to other channels because I have a different type of vibe, and I know that. A different type of community, and I know that. But look at all these other channels that it's like they have such longevity. And my entire channel is built around a mobile game. You know, and I just kind of kept going. I was like, I'm just going to keep pumping it out, whatever else. It just wasn't fun to pump it out. You know, I just, I didn't enjoy constantly only talking about Legends. And it reflected massively on videos, reflected massively on streams. Because it just, it, you, you'd be surprised you talk about one video game every single day for two years. It'll burn you out real quick. Like, it'll burn you out real fast, right? Unless you're raking in hundreds of thousands of views, but even then, I talk to these guys who are raking in hundreds of thousands of views, I'm not going to name names, and they get burnt out by it, because it's just, it, it's one game. I mean, you can only do so much. Mobile games aren't designed to be played the way we're playing them, right? And that's why channels like Rhyme Style, it's what you should aim to be, it's everything. It's easier said than done, of course. It's easy to grow a fan base, quote unquote, off of one game. Because it just, you know, it spikes. And that was the plan, was to just grow off Legends so I had like 50k. And then split off at that point. And we just kind of, the momentum just died for me and for the channel. And it's understandable. Like, the content was just boring. Like, right now, for example, on my computer, I can think of six videos I have recorded. That are just me playing PvP. And they're all fully edited. I just haven't uploaded them. Because I just feel like they're boring. I don't know how else to say that, you know? I, I literally, I could just pump it out and I could make a couple hundred bucks on them. You know? And that's cool. But it just feels like it's nothing different or new. And there's nothing to do in this game sometimes besides play PvP. So it's more fun to discuss it and talk about it than anything. Uh, that's kind of where I'm sitting with Legends at the moment. Where it's just not that enjoyable to sit down and really hammer it home. Like sit down, I, I sit down and record literally like, like 14 videos at a time. Get a whole week pre-recorded. And then I would just edit it as I needed it and did whatever else. But it's just not fun to do that anymore. Like, it makes me want to, like, off myself. <laughs> I mean, literally, you sit there and you play PvP for four to five hours, three or four days in a row. I'm out. Like, I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm good. I like to play other video games. That's what I've been doing. I've been playing a butt ton of other video games. I've been watching a bunch of anime. It's not Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. Death is my favorite anime because it's what it's provided for me. Uh, Naruto is actually my favorite, but Dragon Ball is, like, right behind it. Um, and then you get into, like, American anime, like Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that. You know, technically speaking, it's an anime, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I've been just kind of chilling. Kicking it back. Making sure 5.9 is succeeding where it needs to succeed. Making sure we're doing things over there, which 5.9, if you don't know what it is, it's 5.9 Gaming. You can go look it up right now. It's a collaborative channel. Um, all of us have our hand in it. It's me, Nolar, Goresh, Nostarachi, Rayudin pops in, Truth. Like, There's a lot of people who just had rhyme on the podcast and stuff like that, so make sure you check that out if you want to. No more information about it. You know, if you always hear me talking about it, you're like, "What is that?" Look it up. We play Legends. We play Doken. We play everything. We weekly wrap ups on everything that's happening with games and you know, Resident Evil go up and Final Fantasy. Everything under the sun is pretty much what that channel is going to be. So I want to make sure I'm prioritizing that, but I also don't want to completely distance myself from this channel because I love this channel. But this is a community that I've, I've built, whether or not if it's a super strong one, right? A lot of people compare you to other creators, and it's like, they don't need to. You know, there's, we're different people. Like, massively different people. And, and a lot of people act like I'm sour about where the channel is. I'm not. Like, I want my friends to kill it. Like, I want them to be destroying the game just as much as I want to destroy the game. And a lot of people are like, well, you're just saying that so you sound better on camera. How about you just shut the hell up? Like, <laughs> like, why can't you just let me be happy for my friends and just do what I want to do? You know? So, with that said... The plan is to diverge a lot. Actually, I want to flip this. That. That's much, I should have done that before. That's much better looking. Um, is to diverge a lot. But not lose Legends. Because at no point ever do I want to like not have Legends. You know what I mean? Like I, That's definitely not the goal. I can tell you that much. 100% not the goal. Uh, but I gotta do I gotta do other things. You know, that's something I definitely realized playing different games, I gotta do other things. I mean, I played, I put like, literally 150 hours into like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Just because it was something I hadn't played in years. I was playing Disgaea, I was playing some Final Fantasy, and it was just fun to do other things, you know? So that's something I definitely want to do. Now, I know it's gonna be a long road, like, essentially regrowing a fan base, because that's just how it is. Like, everybody here is to watch Legends, and I keep telling myself... 
just make the damn videos. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you're gonna get comments that are like, I hate this. Why would you play this? Because it's my damn channel. Don't watch it. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, but it's just easier said than done to sit down and really put effort into something and, you know, get 200 views. And I can pop out a Legends video and get 3K. Which 3K is not much, but, you know, we're talking 10, 12 times the amount of views. It's like, it's hard to validate that. You know what I mean? To put in significantly more work into something, get it edited or edit it myself or you know, pay for the editing, get a thumbnail, make a thumbnail myself, whatever else. And it just feels very demotivating. So, I do want to do a lot of things on Twitch. Um, I want to do just chatting streams. So I like just chatting. This will sound mean, I suppose, if you're younger. Most of my audience is like 14, and I just don't click. <laughs> I just... I'm 28, bro. Like, I just do not click with the majority of my audience. And that's definitely something I've noticed on the Wednesday streams, because those were a lot of fun at the beginning. The Wednesday streams were great. Uh, it was a way to just talk... Just get my thoughts out there and everything. Just communicate with my like core fan base, so to speak, right? And now it's just like all we talk about is legends. That's it. And it's like I may as well just make a legends video. I don't know why. I may as well just stream legends and sit here on like this screen and do whatever. Because I'll, I'll get just as many viewers doing this as I would do something else. You know what I mean? Uh, so. There's a lot of if, ands, or buts about it, but I'm gonna figure out what exactly I want to do, and it's gonna be sooner than later. That much I can guarantee. It's also finding the time to do it. It's gotta remember I have a full-time life. I got like six animals. I'm in a full-time relationship. I still work a couple days a week. I still gotta upload stuff on Five Nine. I still gotta be on streams on Five Nine. I got meetings all the time. Like I'm a business owner now. It's not like I'm just you know sitting in my house making Legends content like I was. And I'm legitimately like I own a business. <laughs> Well, like one, one eighth of one at least. So, there's a lot of things that go into it, you know? A lot of people think it's just lazy or whatever else, and it's, it's not. I assure you it's not. I have so many ideas. But it's so much easier said than done to have so many ideas and then put them into fruition, you know? It also takes a lot of capital. And it's not that I don't have a lot of capital. I, I have a moderate amount of capital, which is money, essentially. Um, I mean, I did alright in the first couple of years Legends came out, you know? But slowly but surely, the channel's made less money and I still spend money on the game from time to time and I still have rent and I still have all this stuff and I want to buy things for my girlfriend and do whatever else, right? So it's like, <clears throat> how do I prioritize putting money into projects when there's just not going to be any growth because my entire fan base is Legends, you know? It's, it's a hard, I know, it's a, it's, it's a hard spot to be. I'm between a rock and a hard place right now, but I know I'm going to figure it out. And it may just be, we're kicking it on Twitch, and I just port stuff over. I will tell you, anything that's portable on Twitch, I'm going to port it over. So if you don't want to go to Twitch, whatever else, you'll see it here. Doesn't matter what we're doing. It will be ported over. So you don't have to stress about that. If it's something that's, you know, I'm not like, just sitting there, uh, what's Brad's opinion on McDonald's? Like, <laughs> I don't have much of one. I don't eat McDonald's, so I probably wouldn't port that over, right? But if it's something we're talking about, a game came out, uh, we're talking about like, Attack on Titan, we're talking about whatever else, you know, definitely. Those are things that I would like to port over. Uh, so this channel will not be just Legends-based. It's just, I need to get the ball rolling. If you guys remember, if you've been around for a while, we have Radical 2.0, which I kind of gave up on to an extent. It's always just kind of there. We had just about 2,000 subs on that channel, uploading. I was doing three videos a day on that. Three videos a day on this with Legends. Uh, absolutely burning myself into the ground. And I knew I was doing it too. I was like, I'm totally going to burn out. Like, <laughs> I was like, I know, I know I'm going to burn out. But I was still just there. So, either way. I just want to have this conversation. We are now almost at 20 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up right here. But if there's anything you guys can take, I guess, solace in the people who still watch consistently. Like, I know we're going to get a bunch of comments telling me I kill myself, whatever. I don't care. At this point, whatever. People email me all the time telling me to off myself. Um,. But the people who genuinely watch the channel, there's going to be stuff. I apologize that it's been so much time. You know, I take a week off, like, in between each video and stuff. And I get that. But I got to figure out what I'm doing, you know? And sometimes it's not just... Because I could just sit down and I could just chuck up videos. I could just sit down and talk about anything under the sun. And I might end up doing that. I don't know. But I want to make sure they're decent production quality, right? I don't have to be heavily editing them, because I'm not an editor. I'm bad at that, if you can't tell with the Legends content. 
Um, either way, it'll be solved. I would say, I'm hoping starting Wednesday night, it'll be solved. But I'm out. Keep an eye out for the video tomorrow, talking about the reveals and stuff. Catch you guys around. Deuces.